Hey, what up, YouTube? Welcome back. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a recording a little bit earlier. I did one earlier today. It was a late upload. It's currently, I believe, the first day of Jubilee events. So what I wanted to do was, basically, I saw a lot of Carapace Mount Packs flood into the auction house real quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to um, go and get some of those. Let me close my door real quick. As you can see, there's a lot up here. So I wanted to snatch some of these up since it's been a while since I've done a mass opening of one specified mount pack. Usually it's one big jumbled up amount. Well, it's technically not a mass opening. Mm, tempting. Let's toss another 100k and why not? Let's go a little bit further in. Though I'm going to regret it. It at least makes it a little bit more entertaining. And then another 34k. Actually, let's do 36. <clears throat> It's probably going to be a very big mistake because I'm still selling other things because I wasn't able to get things on the auction house earlier though some things have been selling as I go along but I was at uh, 11,999 I'm pretty sure so we have 28 carapace mount packs don't forget to like and subscribe everyone and without any further ado here we go okay Giant red crab, okay. Also, I had a plan. I just needed more Enlightened Insignia Prosperity Blue. So this is actually helping me out also. If I can get an epic Illuminated Insignia Dominance, I'm set. Okay then, guys. Well, I definitely got the Enlightened Insignia of Prosperity I needed. And I still have the AD after to do my flip. So, let's see here. Where is my cell phone at? It's what I do with it. So, I need the calculator. There it is. Okay. So... Calculator, clear, illuminate insignia dominance, terminal trade house, illuminated insignia of dom, rare, 25,000 times how much? 3 equals 75k. Two barbin singing a skill. <clears throat> Rare. Four thousand. Plus princes. Actually, I could just do plus eight K. Cause that's what it is. So that's eighty three thousand. Regal insignia prosperity. Rare, 2,000, times 7, parentheses, 97,000, Enlightened Insignia Prosperity, eighteen thousand. so plus parentheses, 18,000, times, you know, I honestly didn't even keep track of what we spended, so we'll just make a rough genre here. And just say one mil is our breaking point. To do more than that, 
that will just be the rough estimate to basically uh, just basically make the profit back even easier. Limited insignia of aggression. Rare. 8k. So plus Prince's 8,000 times. I think there's 4. Yes. Times 4. 219k. Let me check my history real quickly. Make sure I did that right. Yes. Okay. Illuminated insignia of refuge. Illuminated insignia of refuge. Rare. Plus parentheses 3,000 times 2 parentheses 225k. Barb insignia dominance. As you can see, that's quite the fluctuation in the market, which is why I turned mine into a legendary. Anywho, uh, yeah. So we'll post it for 160k at the lowest. Plus print. Oh, that's times. 160000 times 2. 545k. <clears throat> Orange plus 34k, 579k, Crescent Signia of Evasion, there we go, plus parentheses 3000 times, times 7, parentheses that's 600,000 even, Regal Insignia Dominance, Regal Insignia of Dom, Rare, 19,000, so plus parentheses 19, zero, 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 times 2 if I recall, yes, okay, that's 638k, plus parentheses, okay, next up is the Sunset Crab, Rare plus seventy two K seven hundred and ten K Illuminating Signia Mastery plus parentheses Terminal Treehouse Illuminated Insignia of Mastery Rare five K so Plus parentheses 5,000 times 4 parentheses 730k. Barbin Singing of Evasion. Two K, so plus parentheses 2,000 times 4. That is 738k. Regal Insignia of Aggression. <clears throat> so, plus 3k times 2. So, 6,000. Okay, so plus parentheses, Crescent Insignia Skill. Five thousand <clears throat> plus five thousand times three parentheses seven hundred fifty nine K, so giant red sunset crab. Giant Huh. You know, I haven't bothered to check out that mount before. I'll take a look after. So that's... Hold on, let me filter it out a bit more. Red. Okay, 202k. So plus 202000. 961k. Okay, so Crescent Senior Skill Epic.
37k plus plus and then this again skill okay 4k each plus princess 4000 times 2 that's 1 million 6000 regal insignia courage Plus two thousand equals that equals one million eight thousand and barbed insignia of aggression. Barbed insignia of AGG rare three thousand three thousand times two, so plus six K. Alright guys, so before we sum it up this was a profit video but a little tidbit that wasn't in the title it was actually also to cover a bit more on my AD farming too surprise surprise okay then guys so now that the little clever ruse is over let's uh... a lot of the more lower down markets such as the barbed and singing dominance things that just come straight out the box can easily fuck fluctuate couldn't even speak straight and upgrading them is usually a better idea. Constantly checking the undercuts on my end too can actually help me out a bit. So let me quickly fix this. I suggest checking like once every hour to hour and a half. Just so basically you guys know what you're looking for. So 193998. Okay, guys, one nine three nine nine eight. <clears throat> now I don't have much AD to work with right now, but this is a good example to basically show you what you can work with on a limited time scale with things. So after doing a mount pack opening, <clears throat> I basically can go over here, snag up seventy one thousand. Snag up another 10k. Okay, so basically after I do that, let me transfer this out. Let's post that red sunset crabs, or red crabs, so I can basically get more storage room. <clears throat> 202922. two. Nine nine two. Okay, so as I had stated in one of my videos, I'm not sure if I put out the correct one. It was basically supposed to tell you guys that I was going to be doing one of these guides somewhere down the line, but I decided to do it ahead of schedule as a surprise. So basically, after doing that, I'll usually go through different things. So my plan here was the enlightened senior dominance. Let me go grab that out of my storage. Or not in light and city dominance, in light and city of prosperity. Okay, so if I go over to the mounts, in light and city of prosperity. <clears throat> grab that. Grab eight of these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now basically what I do is basically once I collect all these things I'm gonna have to make some inventory space. One moment. This seems to be a common or more common uh, issue for me why couldn't I use this during when I was down in that one mission
Okay then, well, that freed up inventory space at least. You know, I couldn't use it either way during the mission, so it was dead weight basically. Anywho. Okay, Crescent Insignia skill. Crescent Insignia of skill. Legendary. That's the wrong tab. Legendary, okay. 136k. Epic. Rare. <clears throat> Let me post this epic on up because there's no profit to be gained there. It would just be more of a tentative waiting game that would last too long with that. 37998. So start with. 37998. There we go. And then of Pross. Legendary. 287774 <clears throat> I'm going to remove that real quickly. Uh, 44443. <clears throat> Sun. Rare seven two nine nine eight. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm real. St Anywho, okay, seven two nine nine eight. There we go, okay. Then just to sum up a lot of other things, this is just to cover the insignias. Next up is the dungeons. Okay, so I did my dailies earlier. You need to do either Master of the Hunt. We're going to cover the old methods too. Start with Master of the Hunt. I know these queues have been a little bit slower lately. Let me queue for both and see which goes first. Worth a shot. While we're waiting, we'll cover some other things too. Okay, refinement packs. Different packs that I've opened. Now, you'd think that the um, pack I'd use would be in refinement. Um... Nope. Art effect. Okay, let's go to equipment packs. So, surprisingly enough, there's a lot of artifact packs in here. The one you're going to be looking for is the... It doesn't seem to have any on the market. I'll... Oh, wait. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Okay, I had me a bit confused for a second. So large artifact equipment pack I've opened in the past <coughs> it's good for level 5 enchanting stones and whatnot basically that's a good way to get a good flip in give or take on how lucky you are with that stuff but a more uh, solid method is mounts itself sort it by bid price okay so you have things like this reanimated horse all this stuff and basically what you gotta do is you gotta see what's going for what so I see a reanimated horse 
for... Uh, oh, there's a dungeon. Okay, so it's 10k bid, 49k buyout. Let's go do our dungeon. Okay, Master of the Hunt pop first, guys. I'm pretty sure I'm in a party chat, so I should be good to continue commentary. Okay, so... Wait, hold on. Did I just saw my mic moving? Testing? Oh, good. That's not my mic moving. Okay, then. I just had to tap it. Sorry, guys. Double check. Don't want to be talking these guys' ears off while I'm giving the rundown. So, basically, this is one dungeon you run. I'm going to see if I can get a group together for a rundown of the guide for Tomb of the Nine. Since I haven't been able to get any learning, group, learning groups together, because every time I put that in my description, my entire video completely will not upload no matter what I try. So basically, I'm just going to do a guide for it. And that will be out hopefully Friday or... Actually, no, tomorrow's Friday and that's when this is going up. And Saturday is when the next one will be going up. So, yep. Okay, so what I can do is I can just... I'm going to get the gold because I need more gold to basically handle things. Sometimes people don't loot the gold, but this these dungeons are a good way to get it. So there we go. Okay, it's the next clearing. This is also a good uh, farm for AoE builds. Clicked on all the gold because I had to swap out some insignias earlier, which cost me a lot. <clears throat> so basically, sometimes people can just camp out down there. I'm not too focused on the gold right now. Let's just uh, see if we can get this done as quick as possible. As I'm trying to mount up and ended up hitting the gold too. Let's nuke him down fast. He isn't that strong, so basically, people can just nuke him down easily. Take note, you will not have healers in this, so... Probably best to just have that set up. There we go. This took 2 minutes 45 seconds. Hardly any time at all. 2 minutes 45 seconds. Damage, I was not doing good on. And basically, there's bonus chest. Basically, we'll cover its key right now. Which is the... Uh, where is it? Nope, that's not it. Sharandar. Here it is. So, it's super cheap with the uh, campaign currencies. It's just like 20 of the moon insignias and 10 of the fey sparks or whatever. And I'd say that's pretty worth it for a extra chance at something new. No, I'm not taking a gamble here because I know nothing good's going to come out of that one just for me this time. I sometimes get a feeling if things like this are going to work or not. Okay, next queue is Dread Legion. I'm going to display that to you guys now. But while we're at it, while we're waiting, let's get back to covering mounts real quickly. Okay, so... We have these things right here. Such as a shadow cla uh, snow clad manicore. You know, I hadn't heard of this till I saw it uh, earlier yesterday. So I'm actually curious if that buyout price is even correct. Well, it seems it's half right. Still ridiculously high, so that's at least a plus side. Okay, so that kind of stuff. 
another way you can look at it is after you check the bids you check buyout search up the name and whatnot like I did with the Manticore and then check expires in and basically see if you can find anything that's close to what was supposed to expire and what its values at up oh, here's our next dungeon okay moss dotted horse apparently is worth a lot too I got one of those a while back I'm gonna have to figure out what mount pack that came from for you guys what wait I missed the queue that quickly okay let's try that again <clears throat> some mount packs uh, let me sort it by buyout rare Jungle Cat Mount Pack, as you've seen me open in a lot of videos, can be good. Things that only offer epic and rare are usually the more preferable. But some of them, like uh, Mystic Mount Pack, sells cra basically can give you a Crag Cat. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, that's well, that's an uncommon. That's probably not worth that much. Wrong entirely. That's what I thought, too, up until I saw it. And might I say they sell for a lot. So definitely keep those mount packs in mind. Which I'm actually considering possibly making that a specified opening video. So yeah. Then you have the Yarl's mount pack for the Savage Polar Bear. Okay, it's not popping up. So yeah, it's not popping up, but a Savage Polar Bear is extremely rare. It usually can go upwards of 2 million, just because of the sheer aesthetics itself. So, let me see here. No, I've never tried those Courser Packs. Okay, Abolethic Mount Pack. Gives Aberrant Feywolf, Aberrant Drake, Aberrant Eath Hound, Gorgon, Inferno Nightmare, Shadow Wolf, and a bunch of other things. So, Apparatus Qualsh is a popular mount for basically uh, getting the Astral Diamond buff. Sorry, I had to double. Oh, there it is. I had a feeling it was coming up, I just didn't know when. Okay, so that's a basic retrospect on mount packs. Let's cover this, then we'll cover the next run. I'm pretty sure it's Thursday, so we can't do the um, Enchanted Stones rank 5, I think. But I fully don't know. I'm pretty sure that's just Mondays and Fridays. I can actually check through here if you're ever looking at I'll basically check this system. stuff. You can check. Okay, that's the wrong button. Dread Ring, open schedule. Thursday is okay so yes Thursday we actually can get some so basically <clears throat> you can get Enchanted Zones rank 5 I'll cover the runs on that one real quickly it's Phantasmal Fortress let me load out of here if I can my game's up oh it's probably because it accepts the dungeons just waiting for a queue to open up Okay, let's cover Dread Legion real quickly, guys. Just going over the old methods as well as the new ones. Okay. And I'll cover some other things you can do openings on that can make you a good profit. Okay, so this one tends to be an easy one to run. And I've gotten an Exuna from this dungeon. I've gotten, you can get Anagarans. They're pretty common in this dungeon too, but sell for a decent show. You can get a lot of things here. I think the only things you really have to focus on taking down that are a bit more of a pain in the neck are the bone 
what are these called? Bone golems? So these and the second wave with the frost golems. I suggest saving your AoEs for the uh, Howler packs, whatever they're called. Also, Onyx Fragments drop. Those sell good too. Okay, so. Next up, this is the animals I was talking about. Stand in one place with your team, or they'll just target someone in specified. There you go, that AOZ, AOEs them down. Then you got these guys. Like I said, save AOE abilities to take them out quickly. Now you're going to want to focus the golem, chances are, because he can soak a lot of hits. Take them down. This is just the way that I do it. And that quickly nukes them down. We got a good team here. So that's really good. We'll have this done in no time flat. Okay, close the portals. One will spawn here. You'll have a few spawn. Now there's one you're going to want to nuke down immediately. Now this is common knowledge, but I know there's some people that honestly are looking for the most efficient way to run it. And this is how I do it, basically to clear it out quickly. Now you're going to want to nuke down the portal that spawns right here. Because if you don't, this guy keeps spawning and he, well, he usually can soak hits, give or take on the group. I highly suggest that someone goes over to at least one of these portals over here and clears out the two in the front. Well, three can, three or four can focus the ones in the back. And then just loop around. The boss will spawn right here exact. I always save my dailies for this guy. And pop them off the bat because he has a drain ability. He'll sometimes activate immediately. <clears throat> I have my own rotation that basically makes it so every time I pop out a stealth, I basically do my do more damage. And then by the time my stealth's back up, my uh, ability, my square button, is already back up and running too at the same time. Uh, no go there. I want to see what happens with two rerolls this time, but no guy, uh, no dice. Okay, so let me convert this out. Get this out of my overflow bag. Okay, the next thing we'll cover Phantasmal Fortress real quick. The other thing is uh, Vanguard Script. Vanguard Script gives you Thane Keys, which you can use to basically do the Phantasmal Fortress. Ah, uh, crud. I just realized the time. Um, okay, so we're, we're not going to do the Phantasmal Fortress because it's... Because everyone's coming in the house right now. I think it's about dinner time and whatnot. So I'm going to wrap this all up for everyone. And basically just cover the basic necessities. Everyone knows Phantasmal Fortress. If not, I do live streams of it a lot. Also, this was from the uh, one dungeon. You sell this for 30 silver if you're looking to make easy gold. Where is it? There it is. It's 34 silver right there. Okay then, so next thing here. <clears throat> Some other good things to open. If you're looking for basically... Okay, so stronghold, stronghold, okay, so str stronghold campaign chests, easy way to get influence, and give or take on the prices, with the market's fluctuation right now, it's not going to get you a profit, but the major influence vouchers can actually get you a bit more when the market prices go back down and stop fluctuating so much. As we can all tell from this Zen market right here, this mess entirely, the market is far from stable. Okay, so basically, uh, yeah. 
that's the basic sum up and everything and with uh, these right here the black ice you can trade these in for fashion items here such as this I usually go for one piece of each set and then just do a full rotation on it and basically yeah I try to do my I try to collect even if I can't finish them up I always collect my uh, legacy campaigns for those um, marks of the hero or hero's medallion and basically that makes it so I can get my 50,000 AD bonus as we can all see here and I'm still holding on to where are they a lot of them I still have 25 <clears throat> speaking of which I need to go collect my other ones and yeah that's basic retrospect okay so let me see here cover more stuff some consumables lock boxes a lot of people have been asking me what kind of lock boxes are good my honest opinion I'll cover them because I have them all in my uh, personal storage is the okay so to start with cheap lock boxes that are easy to get super cheap that are good in my opinion for someone that's starting off is the merchant prince's lock box and where is it let me see ah there it is reborn lockbox those two can be good for just basically getting items itself tarmalin trade bar jackpot and if I inspect the box this right here gives some pretty popular mounts such as swarm mount stuff and such and stuff such and so forth I can't even speak straight but the price has gone down due to the account wide uh, mount stuff though not to a traumatic extent in my opinion these are some mount packs I can suggest for something a little bit more I'm not sure how to describe it let's see here I mean I know that this this basically if I inspect this real quickly it gives the uh, tame velociraptor which usually goes for almost two mil on a good day legendary transverse mount pack usually goes for around nine mil now it gives our favorite the jungle cap mount packs warded enchantment packs which have a chance at three pres wards it has a chance at one coalescent ward not guaranteed of course and that's basic retrospect expedition companion packs chance at the crab and the stewart giant stewart golden lion and the stronghold chest which basically can give portraits and the baseline of everything but that one's not that good lost, lost artifact equipment packs which I had mentioned before that basically give well enchanted stones and whatnot that's what that one does let me show you and I've already shown you the reborn <clears throat> you know I haven't bothered to check what the eye of the giant sells for Everyone says it still goes for a lot, but I haven't bothered to actually check it out myself. Eye of the G I A N T. Okay, then that's uh yeah. Okay, then so I'd love to see what I could sell a legendary for. Okay, guys, so that's the basic retrospect of it. Um, anything I'm forgetting? Well, besides the fact of Celestial Bag Refining, make sure to hold on to these for when the Astral Diamond Market finally riles back down. You can basically get yourself some more stuff and whatnot. That is a lot of AD that's getting put in right there. Pretty insane. Anywho, yeah, right now, let me see here is the Jubilee whatnot so this is pretty cool I'm going to be farming up for the uh, protector's garden key so I can have access to that <clears throat> want to get one of those too just for collective purposes and possibly one of those if it's even possible but I'll figure it out as I go along preferably the garden key of anything 
Because I can just get the other, like, the chicken off the auction house or something, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, guys, that's the basic retrospect. And, oh, before I forget, gold. Holds more of a value on that usually is in trade chat selling things for gold. I don't think he is right now, though, because I haven't bothered to pay much attention. So basically, the best advice I can give... Now, I add this guy, but I'm not going to message him right now or bother him because he's probably doing something else right now if he's not in trade chat. So basically, um, yeah, if you get gold, save it. Find people in basically trade chat that are basically selling things for gold. Store it up on the side, whatnot, and then you can sell it later on. Well, not sell it. I mean, like, you can use it to basically buy things like mounts and pets and everything. Because I bought a panther for, like, 100 gold and sold it for 25k. So, yeah, it's not half bad. People will actually trade some serious stuff for gold, too. Other things I can suggest for easy AD and easy gold is the Timora. Gifts of Timora or something like that. Yeah, gift of Timora. Okay, so these give the fool's robes and all that stuff and whatnot. And basically rough astral diamonds itself. I believe I did a massive opening of these once before with almost like with almost like five or six thousand of them at one point. Correct me if I'm wrong on that one. But basically, as you can see, these, since the event is over, go for a lot right now. Basically, 2k each. And if you're just looking to do something more resourceful, those are resourceful, but Joaquin can be good too. It's just a give or take on what you're going for. So, let me search up this. I suggest doing calculations and whatnot for this. But what I've noticed is chances are that the this one costs less than just buying the bags separately to make one. Because it's like... <laughs> so that's the basic retrospect of it. And yeah. Now the other one I can suggest, it should be in refinement. Uh, I think it was like Gond or something like that. Oh, no, no, no. It was... Uh... Wondrous Creations. W O N. It's an epic item. It's like Creations of Wonder or something like that. There we go. Creations of Wonder. These things are especially expensive. Because the fact is they give you access to a limited time item, apparently. A limited item, which is the Ordinate Apparatus of Gond and the Red-Hued Apparatus of Gond. Also, the Forge Hammer of Gond Epic. Now, I personally tried opening these. I had no luck. Okay. Hammer... Forge Hammer gone to almost 3 million AD. And that's a gamble right there alone. There's no epic or rare version. There's an uncommon version, which is 1.7 million. And basically, um, activating this artifact will summon an uncommon tool usable in all crafting professions. It will also give you the inside of Gond having the damage you take from all attacks for 3 seconds. Discard the currently unsummoned Forge Hammer Gone to summon a new one. So, I was thinking at first that that may have been the factor of something else, like, possibly, what could it be, what could it be? Basically, like, just, I'm so lost right now. Basically, just the tool itself you could sell, but I begin to think that it actually just gives you a Forge Hammer like named after it that you can use in any profession reading back on it now no refinement packs things like this can be good too 
Let me see here. Now I've tried a lot of different refinement packs, but one of the ones I preferred. Okay, so. Okay, I can't even remember what it was called. It was like. Let's see. I'm having such a headache right now, guys. Like, so my head is all over the place right now, unfortunately. Refiner's Catch. Okay, that's something that I'll have to test out later on. But the basic retrospect to that is that different enchanting packs give different things. I only got one hour of sleep last night, unfortunately. We've already covered mount packs. Anything else I need to cover? Profession packs, okay. <clears throat> the uh, gone things also give this, which can sell pretty decently too. Give or take on um, what it's selling for at the time. This is also a good way to get gold and resources, things like that. Now, as for professions, making you good AD iffy you probably need to get your professions maxed out to basically cover this a little bit more but basically yeah that's the basic retrospect of it guys I gotta jump to my other characters now and start working on their stuff and basically start getting their invocations underway I've started a few of them I'm gonna post some auctions on them but I know this dragged on a little longer than usual, so as always guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, stay awesome guys, and until next time, see ya!